In the last uh, video segment, we looked at how you can use a for loop to allow the user to input. Um, in this case, we just added, a, add, added numbers into a sum and used the sum then to calculate an average. So we used a for loop so that we could loop through something, in this case, five times. Um, we could change that to be more times. You know, if, if that goes through five times, then ten would you know, obviously go through ten times. Um, but, but one thing we didn't talk about in the last video was something called scope. And we have not talked about scope yet. And scope is very important as your, as your programs get more complicated. Scope refers basically to where a variable exists inside a program and where it does not exist. So right now, we declared this int counter here inside of our main method. So this int counter exists in the entire main method. But I could have also done this. I'm going to delete this line. And I could have declared counter right here inside of the for loop. Now counter only exists here. It doesn't exist anywhere else in the main method. And so if I compile this program, I'm going to get an error because when I tried to do this system.out.println at the end, where I did sum divided by counter, counter does not exist here. Its scope is limited to this for loop. Okay, Again, its scope, where it exists at, is limited to this for loop. So um, it's, it's something that you need to be aware of. Now, in this case, if I wanted to you know, actually compute something down here, I couldn't use that variable counter anymore, so I'd have to do something else. In this case, let's put this back to, let's say I only want to average four numbers. Then if I wanted to do that down here, you know, I'd have to do something like this to make up for it. So I'd have to type in four. But you just have to start being aware of the scope of your variables. So I'll compile this, and I'll run it just one time to make sure it works. Um, let's average the numbers 5, 10, 15, and 20 and the average of these is 12. Um, and let's check to make sure that's correct. So 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 plus 20 is 50. So 50 divided by 4 is 12. Now that doesn't seem right, does it? It should be 12.5. And if we remember back to how Java does, um, does arithmetic, well, sum is an integer, and 4 the literal 4 is an integer, and we know that when we do integer division, truncation happens. So even though the original answer was calculated to be 12.5, we'll print out simply 12. If we wanted to fix this, we could do some casting. I could say double, and it would convert sum to a double before doing the division, which would give us mixed mode arithmetic, um, which would then result in an answer of a double. So let's try this one time real quick just to make sure that's correct. And I'll do again 5, 10, 15, and 20. And 12.5 is our answer.